so today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 blushes for Indian skin tone which are A easily available in Indian market, B are not that expensive and C pretty blushes. So yes without further ado and in no particular order let's start with the blushes. One of my favorite companies which does blushes really well is Makeup Revolution. These blushes are beautiful, they are not really expensive and they are easily available online and have great discounts on them as well. You can find them on Flipkart, Jibong, Ebay and on their site as well. So the first sort of blushes from Makeup Revolution are these one. These are just their plain blushers. This shade is hot which is a beautiful pink. I'll swatch it for you. It's a beautiful pink and you see how pigmented that is. It looks super gorgeous. The second shade which I have is a very natural shade. Its name is Love. This looks like this. And it looks so natural on the skin. Just look at it. It looks so natural on the skin. Love it. Its name is Love so have to love it. For the second type of blush I have the same company. I have like four from Makeup Revolution. Four type of different blushes so please don't mind. But yes. These are number two. These are cream blushes. A lot of you always ask me where you can get cream blushes and I always recommend to you Makeup Revolution because their blushes are so good. So this first shade is Oh Boy and these are amazingly pigmented. Like you just need a dot of it and it's a little dirty so I'll just swatch it from here itself for you guys because I don't want to waste it. This Oh Boy shade is a pretty pink. Look how bright and neon that pink is. It looks gorgeous on the skin. Especially if you have like deep yellow undertones. This looks very, very, very flattering. The second shade from this ring that I have is a natural one. Its name is... What its name? Was it its name? Rush. So its name is Rush. Let me swatch it for you. I think there is some problem with the packaging now. Because it's not coming out. Come out Rush. Rush out of it. Well, well, well. So the packaging gave up on me when I had to swatch it. Mm -mm, it ain't working. Anywho, this is really, really pigmented and this is what it looks like. I'm going to just try and work around it. I think there is something wrong, but I'm not able to figure out what. Please rush. Come on. Oh, well. This is going to be a problem. But yes, I'm just going to swatch Rush for you. This is what Rush looks like. These two look really similar on screen. I don't know why, but this is way more natural than uh, the previous one Oh Boy is. And I'm just going to try and... Uh, how am I even going to deposit this back? Oh, this is a mess. Shit. I'm just going to apply this on my cheeks now. Live demo. Swatching. See how natural it looks like on the cheeks and this is really pigmented so that's a lot of product I'm applying but do I care? No. Oh it's on my hair as well. Now I care. I have pink streaks. Yay! So that's what Rush looks like on my cheeks and on my hair and on my neck and everywhere. Next up I have two more liquid blushes from Makeup Revolution. I know this looks like it's sponsored by Makeup Revolution. It isn't. Makeup Revolution doesn't even know I exist so pff, it's okay. So the first one is Pink C and the other is Rush Me. So this is again a pink and a coral sort of a combination. I know people always say to me why do you have so many pink blushes? They all look the same. They don't. Trust me they look different. So this is what uh, pink C looks like. This is way more liquidy and looks way more natural on the skin because of the fact it goes inside and it stays on for a really 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 long time. This works like a stain and it's not opening. So yep. There it goes. I'm gonna swatch it for you. So I'm just gonna drop it here. See that's the consistency. It's literally water and it just goes into the skin like that and it looks beautiful on the skin. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna have all the prices listed down below in the bottom bar because I'm not really sure about the prices of these. I don't think it says anywhere but yes I'm gonna have all the prices in the bottom bar. Next I'm gonna swatch Rashmi for you. This is what it looks like. See that is the consistency of it. And I'm just gonna swatch it like spread it out. That's a pretty peachy color. Hope you can see that. Yeah, that's the color right there. It's a pretty peach color. Looks really, really, really healthy on the skin. Love it. Next up, I have 
everyone's favorite Maybelline and from Maybelline I have their dream mousse blush I love 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 the texture of these blushes it's really soft and it just goes on the skin really smoothly the first shade I have is shade number 40 soft plum this is the previous packaging they changed their packaging to look like this and this is in the shade uh, 07 so yes those are the two blushes I'm gonna swatch soft plum for you this is well loved as you can see this is what soft plum looks like see how gorgeous and natural that shade is this one right here I hope you can see I'm just gonna layer it up a bit it's a very sheer blush you can layer it up to make it look as bright as you want and you can just not make it look bright if you want so this is what soft plum looks like after layering it up three to four times and then we're gonna swatch 07 they have changed the formulation a bit to make them more pigmented rather than sheer so this is what uh, 07 looks like I'm just gonna build it up a bit it has it has definite purple undertones so it looks really good with duskier skin tones it would really 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 flatter dusky skin tones so that's what it looks like right there I think I would need to remove some of my arm candy because no space left next I have this L'Oreal blush it's the L'Oreal Lair blush true match it's in the shade 04 uh, rosewood again a go it's a gorgeous dusky rose color really flattering for the Indian skin just gonna swatch it for you again it's a pretty sheer uh, formulation you can layer it up this is what it looks like no, as you can see it's not very pigmented it's sheer and buildable which is really good if you want to work on your cheeks and you're a beginner you don't want to have like you know two circles going on plus it's packaging is so cute it has a mirror and a brush right there and the brush is really good I definitely 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 recommend this blush if you want something you know just to throw in your makeup bag and if you're a person who's always on the go so yes this is the L'Oreal Lair blush true match for you guys next I have this faces glam on creme blush I recently used this and I fell in love with it. All of the textures that I'm showing you in this video are so different from uh, you know each other. This is a cream blush and this is what it looks like. Let me remove the plastic. I am dropping everything. Yuck! So yes, this is what it looks like. It's a really bright pink and I'm just going to swatch it right next to the L'Oreal uh, blush. Again, the pigmentation is quite sheer and buildable. This is what it looks like. So you can see the definite change of color. This is very dusky and, you know, sort of browny. And this is very pinky with uh, some sort of purpley undertones. But this one is really dark. Like, this was the Maybelline uh, 07. This is more on the neon pink side with purple undertones. So this would suit medium skin tones really well. I think most of the makeup revolution uh, that I've shown you would be for fair skin tone except the first one that I showed to you. The first one was hot. Hot is a very universal color. It should suit all skin tones. Love is for fair. And this oh boy and the other one which was um, rush I guess. No. Rush. Yes. Whatever it was those I think are for fair skin tones. Others I've already told you for which skin tone I think they are more suitable. Next up I have the Colour Bar Cheek Illusion Blush for you guys. They come in a really nice variety of colours but the one I have is in Bronzing Glaze. This is really good if you want to contour as well. This is what it looks like but I think this is a good contour only for fair to medium skin tones. It won't show up that well on darker skin tones, on duskier skin tones. For them it could be a good bronzing powder. I'm gonna swatch it for you. It does have some sort of fine shimmer particles to it and it's just like a really nice warm brown. There it is. The pigmentation is quite decent, wouldn't say the most pigmented and wouldn't say like the least pigmented or sheer, it is quite medium. Then I have this Blue Heaven Diamond Blush on. I think this one is the cheapest out of them all and it is so pigmented. This retails for 125 rupees only and this is so pigmented. The only issue that I have with this is that it has a very strong fragrance but if you are someone who doesn't mind that then you can go for it because it's really pigmented this blush is a pretty orange color and it's in the shade 503 I think this can suit medium to dark skin tones more than fair ones because it can look a bit too much on the fair ones because it is really pigmented I'm gonna swatch it for you this also does have like a duochromatic finish so it gives off a goldenish uh, you know what do you say that thing 
I don't know what that thing is, but that thing. So this is the Blue Heaven blush. As you can see, it is giving a duochromatic finish of a goldenish reflex. Reflex! Oh, I got that word. So yes, it's giving a duochromatic uh, reflex of uh, golden and it's orange as well. Hope you can see that. It's quite an orange shade. So yes, that is the Blue Heaven blush for you. And the last and the tenth blush that I'm going to show you is by Color Essence. It says it's a blusher. It doesn't have any shade. It was a powder blusher but I sort of like broke it. But it was so pigmented and so gorgeous that I had to show you guys. I'm going to swatch it for you. Where should I swatch it? Okay, I'll swatch it here. I don't mind. This was really, really, really pigmented and really soft. So this is what the Color Essence blusher looks like. Even this is very, very affordable. I think it retails around 200 or 250 rupees. Not really sure. But yes, this is what it looks like. This color, I think, is a universal color as well. It would suit even fair skin tones, medium skin tones and dusky skin tones equally. So with that, I finished my top 10 blushes for Indian skin tone which are drugstore, easily available and not that expensive. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did then please rate, comment and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. You can also check out my top 20 lipsticks and top 10 eyeshadows available in India. I would link them for you in the bottom bar. So go ahead check those out as well. Do not forget to follow me on all my social media. All my social media would be in the bottom bar as well. And I will see you guys next time. Till then take care. Bye.